Here we go, here we go. Let's see what more shenanigans Linda and Tom are getting into today. I'm ready. Welcome back to Eddie B TV. I am, of course, Eddie B. Nice to see y'all. We are back with you again today for another reaction video. And uh, today we're going to continue on with uh, season two of Gimme, Gimme, Gimme. And uh, this is going to be episode three. And um, yeah, it's been a little while. I had to take a little time off. You know, I had to rest this old dude back, you know. But hey, hey, we here now. We got business to handle. So this one is going to be uh, It's going to be called uh, Stiff. That's what it is, because that's what I pretty much was. I was just stiff in the bed, just laid out. I don't know. That probably makes no difference to this episode. But, you know, I just had to say it because it was funny. But uh, yeah, man, this one's going to be titled Stiff. And that is the third episode of the second season. And uh, I'm just ready to get into it, man. Let's see what uh, is going on with these two. They, they cracked me up ever since we first started with this show. And uh, hopefully we're going to continue on with that. So, Gimme, 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 Season 2, Episode 3, Stiff. And if you like this reaction, please click on the like button for me one time. Subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and uh, leave a nice comment for your boy. Constructive critiques, leave a nice suggestion or request, and uh, throw a couple jabs, jokes, and zingers at me. Friendly dialogue, no drama here. All right? You guys know the deal. So, uh, yeah, I'm ready, man. I'm not even going to talk no more. Gimme, 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 Season 2, Episode 3, Stiff. Right here on Eddie B TV. Ready to get back to the fun. Let's do this. And here we go. For goodness sake, you glumping great gibbon. <laughs> I don't hold this door open as a hobby, you know. <laughs> Why do you come grab on, something, Tom? What's wrong with right, you, Right, old Jerosis, what's the array? There were two nuns in a phone box out on the street. Oh, no, lesbos. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you stupid oh. horse. You know very well that nuns in the street means bad luck. Now, give me the keys. Nuns in the <laughs> street mean bad luck? Oh, my God. Linda, look, look, look. We've been burgled. Oh, my God, I'm having a panic attack. <laughs> oh, Dad, I probably forgot to lock the door on me way out. Now, come on, me fish pie thawing. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Hi, Nibs. Have you heard any strange sounds coming from our flat? I did hear a certain amount of humping around. Just thought you two have finally got it together. Oh! <laughs> Mind you, I've been taking Viagra, so it is possible that I'm hallucinating. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, I am! A blouse! It's freaking me out. <laughs> freak out? <laughs> oh, freak. That's a good one. The, <laughs> the bedrooms are okay. How's the lounge diner? It's fine, apart from the dirty great big coffin in the middle of the room. <laughs> I wonder who left that there. <gasps> stiff. Okay, it's stiff. Those nuns. <laughs> <laughs> no. Every time I see nuns, this happens. Oh God, it's those nuns, it's those nuns, it's those nuns, it's those nuns. Oh. <laughs> it's only a coffin. God. Oh, no. You're very eerily at ease around death, aren't you, Lindy? Hmm? What's that all about? Oh, I know, it's because you saw your mother, isn't it? Yeah, right, yeah. right. Yeah. Mm. It's very distressing, actually. She wanted to be buried to Elvis, you know, the music. Only the funeral director got it wrong, buried her as Elvis. Her <laughs> <laughs> in his Las Vegas gear, you know. Big quiff, the shades. I even got the pout. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna have to look, aren't we? We're gonna have to look. Right, okay. I don't think that I can. I don't think that I can. I don't think that I can. I don't think. Oh! Calm Tom. down, Tom. Chill. Now, you'll be all right with me. Chill, Hold Tom. My hand. Come on, man. Oh, what are you going to do with it? <laughs> Look, Tom, when you die, it's just like slipping into another room. Is it? Yes. Another room where you are dead. <laughs> Come on. Oh, God, I just remembered something. What? We forgot to buy Pringles. <laughs> OK, I'll go back for the Pringles. Um. 
Oh, look, it's a woman. Look at the shoes. Oh. <gasps> wonder who it is. I wonder who it is. Eddie Izzard? <laughs> Eddie Izzard. If Eddie Izzard was dead, which I very much doubt, what would he be doing laid out in our living room? Well, he's quite surreal. <laughs> Hold the hanky off her face. Here, I should call upon my spirit guide, Madame Cholet, to aid me in this revelation. <laughs> I will let her hands guide my hands. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Well, bugger me in Burnley, it's Beryl, our landlady. I wondered why there were cobwebs on her cat flap. <laughs> yeah, she looks great, doesn't she? Yeah. That yeah. makeup's fab. Very good. They're experts. Done years on television. You know, retirement comes and they all go and do corpses. <laughs> You're probably looking at the handiwork of the chief makeup designer on a passage to India. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how she. I wonder how she went. Well, far be it from me to cast aspersions, but she did have a lot of sexual partners. <laughs> she's been down that clap clinic that often, she's got a strain of gonorrhea named after her. <laughs> Maybe it was clap that took her. Nah, the clap's really painful. She looks dead happy. Mm. Well, I've seen her happier. Dead happy. Yeah. <laughs> when Lady Di died, they had a book of condolence down the happy shopper. <laughs> No, I don't think it would be appropriate. She used to shoplift there. <laughs> Probably got a packet of giblets tucked down her blouse as we speak. <laughs> Here, what? let's say something nice about her. Shall we? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's uncharacteristically lovely of you. Pray do. <laughs> <clears throat> Up in heaven, a star is shining. Down on earth, my heart is whining. Save a place at Jesus' table. I'll be with you. When I'm able. <laughs> Hope not too soon. <laughs> Where did that come from? I feel quite nauseous now. <laughs> it's Mummy's Reef. A jar of Valium made out of midnight roses. Oh. I had somebody write that on the card. Mm. Do you know I could murder a brandy now? Wet the baby's head. Yes. Good idea. <laughs> God. I feel so numb. People say that, don't they? They say, I've just heard that so-and-so's died and I just went completely numb. <laughs> Must hold on to this feeling. Never know when I might be called upon to use it in, say, an episode of Midsummer Murders or something. <laughs> I'm a geography teacher in specs and uh, we're on a camping trip and one of my students has just slipped down a crevice and I get a visit from Bergerac and he says, it's bad news, I'm afraid. <laughs> Demi's dead. And I say, oh, I feel so numb. <laughs> Good, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Don't say it that way, though. Really. Shock's a funny thing, you know. When Mummy died, Daddy was found in a skit with a pair of her pants on his face, singing "I Who Have Nothing." <laughs> <laughs> it brought shame to the family. <laughs> what I want to know is why. Well, he was tone deaf. No, 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 no. <laughs> why? Well, I don't know. Here. What? I'm going to touch her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you? Okay. <laughs> That's very brave of you. Courage, mon petit. Courage. <laughs> All right, go ahead. You're very fearless. You're an inspiration. Mm -hmm. Cheers. <laughs> ah! She's alone! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's the door, Bernie, you stupid red oats! <laughs> <laughs> Someone oh. who can throw some light on this situation. Go and see who it is. Go on. Okay, I would have tripped out. I would have tripped out if that happened exactly at that time. <laughs> oh, God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I meant to touch your hand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know that I'm gay, though, anyway, don't you? Yes. <laughs> I'll just forget that just because you're dead. I'm gay, all right? I'm gay, okay? Save your breath, man. It's too late to come out to her now. Thomas, this is the uh, funeral director. Oh, hello. Bob Hobbs. Sorry we have to meet under such circumstances. It's far nicer to meet in holiday destinations or public houses, don't you agree? Discos? I prefer Pringles. Oh, we forgot to buy any! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, we're all a little bit shell-shocked now. Uh, do have a seat, Mr Hobbs. See, now I want Pringles Yeah, now, the death please. of a loved one can be quite traumatic, apparently. Grown men weep. Dwarves collapse. <laughs> I'm, um, sorry if we seem a little distracted, Mr Hobbs. We had no idea that she died. I'm surprised the coffin wasn't a giveaway. <laughs> anyway, I was just passing. I thought I'd pop by and see everything was in order with, um... Oh, damn. What was her name? Beryl. Beryl. Oh, I've had a lot on my mind lately, yeah. Would a drop of brandy help? 
Yeah, it's far too late for that. <laughs> so when's the funeral? I mean, I'm assuming there is going to be a funeral, and we can't just have this knocking about like some embarrassing old heirloom. <laughs> It'll be Auntie Leone's lava lamp all over again. <laughs> you mean, you don't know when the funeral is? No. <laughs> I can't tell you how encouraging it is to meet people as forgetful as myself. No, 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 I'm not forgetful. We just don't know why she's here. Oh, oh, I see. I mean, I've, uh, I've left all the paperwork in the Volkswagen camper. Yeah, I use it as a... Uh... Hers? Do I? That's outrageous! <laughs> <laughs> I know. Run around, yeah. Use it as a run around. Yeah, we toyed with the idea of downsizing the hearses, but the camper van was seen as a little tacky. Yeah. <laughs> Wife's got a couple of stickers up in the back window boasting of certain beauty spots we've visited over the years. <laughs> I mean, who wants to be reminded of the gaping gill when you're burying your mother? <laughs> uh, or the log flumes at Alton Towers. <laughs> Where's Where's that that guy? Here? He Why downstairs? Yeah, we always lay the body out downstairs. The punters seem to like it. I mean, who wants to stiff in the bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> you get in? I mean, we didn't let you in. We've been out all day. We come back to this. It's all rather bizarre, isn't it? It's like some crazy TV show set up. That's because it is. <gasps> Smile, you're on candid camera. No! Really? Really? No! Oh, I knew there was something fishy about this. Oh, no, I hope I didn't swear. Oh, Mr Robs, my mouth without get going. I come out with all sorts. <laughs> is this the camera? Is this the camera? Is this the camera? <laughs> Oh, Beryl, it's all right. Come on. You can get up now. We know it's a trick. Come on. Oh, actually, yeah, that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen the look on your faces. Oh, I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> what, you mean we ain't going to be on the telly? No. Oh, well, I'm glad, actually. No, I am glad. I mean, they do say the TV puts six pounds on you and I'm practically anorexic. <laughs> so who did bloody let you in, then? Oh, oh Maybe someone gave us a key. Ah, oh, that would explain this. Yeah, I wonder what that was. Maybe somebody gave you a key and you can't remember who that was. Fantastic! Well, who else are we supposed to tell about this? Well, it's traditional to tell family and friends. I mean, you can tell a complete stranger, but they don't often give a... Shit. ...donation. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah. See you at the funeral. Right, OK, no, that way, that way. What? That way. Oh, right, yes, that right. way. Yes. Well, what are we going to do with this? I love this programme. This is televisual brilliance at its best. You can keep your our friends in the north, you can keep your eye, Claudia, aye, aye, Linda. You cannot beat a good through the keyhole. <laughs> Something wrong? Mean? You're very quiet. I was telling Jez and Sue's earlier, brought it all back to me. Beryl's dead, Tom. <laughs> It always happens to me. Every time I get close to somebody, they end up in one of these. <laughs> Wincy Willis? Wincy Willis? Who the bloody hell is Wincy Willis? <laughs> Just like Wendy Strokes in Boston. I said to her, I said, you're my new best friend. I'm going to be by your side for the rest of your life. 20 minutes later, hang herself. <laughs> <laughs> oi, oi. Do you know who Wincy Willis is? Oh, I told you he'd say something inappropriate. <laughs> Where is she? She's over there, blubbering her little eyes out. <laughs> Have you no respect for the dead? Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm really unhappy, actually. Teetering on the brink of gloominess over here. I only saw her two weeks ago. She was going for a loaf. She was so full of life, Linda, life! <laughs> Don't look at me, I didn't kill her. <laughs> I've got witnesses, and this time they're good ones. I saw her last week, when I was out buying my Viagra. <laughs> she told me she was going on a long journey. <gasps> Here, maybe she topped herself. 
Oh, and what would you two care? You hated her. Excuse me, but we were always having her down here doing things for us. Yeah, I'd never ask an old lady to be a draft excluder. <laughs> <laughs> it was windy. <laughs> she loved you two so much and all you ever did was treat her like shit. That's libelous. Get me some more brandy. <laughs> well, we certainly wouldn't use her as a coffee table. It's an occasional table. <laughs> Occasionally it's a table, and occasionally it's a coffin. OK. Yeah, and anyway, you two were hardly our like number that. one fans. Yeah, well, at the end of the day, she was a second-rate has-been hooker. <gasps> <gasps> I'm sorry, I'm in shock. I mean, Beryl was our landlady. Exactly. Which makes us... Tenants. tenants homeless. homeless. <laughs> well, the selfish little bitch! <laughs> She commits suicide and leaves us destitute. How dare she? Oh, we don't know that for sure. <laughs> she would have left a note, surely. Oh, Do you have keys to her flat? Oh. Keys? Have I got keys? Do I look like a keysy type of person? <laughs> but there might be a clue up there. Well, someone will have to break in. But I can't. I'm middle class. I used to have ponies. <laughs> Had to be surgically removed from one of them. <laughs> Linda, you'll have to do it. Come on, okay. come on. <sighs> Well, I wonder who lives in a house like this. <laughs> David, it's over to you. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. I've got whiskey. You know, this is very good for shock, you know, which is good, because I didn't realise quite how shocked I was. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you looking for? Well, I don't know. A suicide note, a will, anything. Oh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> Linda, are you stealing things? That's out of order. That's really out of order. Oh, shut up. It's traditional to nick things out of dead people's houses. <laughs> Is it? You know, I've often pictured my <laughs> own funeral celebrations. A crisp autumnal morning, the hallowed dome of St Paul's, a reading by Sir Simon Shepherd. I don't think you should have any more of that. What? You're pissed. <laughs> Here, look at this. Dirty bitch. <laughs> pissed. pissed? I'm not pissed. Oh. Yeah, you're pissed. I don't even know the meaning of the word pissed. Well, pardon me if I'm just a little bit emotional, right? Of stripes, they're dropping like flies. Oh, shut up, you tart. He's pissed. <laughs> <laughs> she looks great. Mm, that Viagra's really taking effect, isn't it, Jess? Oh, I'm a good girl, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I pop downstairs and slip into something see through? Please. Mm, catch a barrel. So, uh. <laughs> You're feeling a little frisky, Jez. This is Viagra I'm on. I've been drawn to the strangest things. <laughs> Jez? Oh, Jez? Hmm? Have you ever seen that film, Basic Instinct? <laughs> uh, no. What about There's Something About Mary? <laughs> uh, no, uh, I'd better go order a wreath or something. I... Yeah. Oh. What about your Viagra What's It? It seems to be wearing off. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, Linda, that sucks. <laughs> I don't want to be homeless, Lindy. Neither do I. Then listen to my plan. What say we pretend that Beryl's body was never here at all? That she's just disappeared? That she's never died? Hmm? Then we could keep this flat all to ourselves. That's a dreadful idea, Tom. Oh. Goes completely against my Catholic teachings. <laughs> Mind you, the garden's big enough for a makeshift grave. Yes. <laughs> and that funeral director who's got the memory capacity of a goldfish, when he comes back, we could all be like Stepford wives and just go, What dead body, Mr Hobbs? What dead body, Mr Hobbs? <laughs> Oh, no, 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 cos somebody organised the body being here, didn't they? We're gonna have to face it, Tom. We're out on our ear. Well, what am I saying? 
She's probably left a will. I mean, maybe this whole house is ours. Oh, wake up and smell the coffee, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you scary witch. <laughs> Nipples. They've got a mind of their own. <laughs> I'm look for Beryl. I'm 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 can't believe she has gone. Oh, wait there a second. <laughs> yes, but who is he? I don't know, but whoever he is, he's bloody gorgeous. Really? <laughs> Would you like to slip in? <laughs> you just got this. Uh, we were just uh, making everything just just so. <laughs> you are good people. You are good people. Oh, you're not so bad yourself, baby. <laughs> um, I'm Tom, by the way. Hello, Tom, by the way. <laughs> Pedro Mano Fernandez de San Pastillo. Oh, it's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? <laughs> Just the way I like it. <laughs> you come with me, Pedro. Cora, <laughs> you taught. Where is she? Where is my Betty? You want to see Beryl? Yeah? You want to see Beryl? Here she is! <laughs> <laughs> How can this be? How can this be? Oh, mi cariño. Oh, mi cariño. How does this happen? Tell me, Lindy. Tell me, Tom, by the way. <laughs> How does this happen? Oh, I don't know. Her heart stopped beating, didn't it? I don't know. I lived here not 50 days ago at the airport. <laughs> Lovely Beryl. Lovely Beryl. <laughs> I planned to spend the rest of my life with her, and now you tell me she is dead. How did she die? Oh, and he gorgeous. Mm. <laughs> He's got a backside you could get lost in. <laughs> <laughs> You are Beryl's sister? No, oh, you cheeky bastard. You're too ugly, you're too ugly. <laughs> no, you're English, very bad. The word is beautiful, it's beautiful. Do you are the sun? The sun, the moon and the stars, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you know her? I see Beryl in my bar. I give her oily olives and spicy saveloy. I know how to make the ladies happy. Mm, I'm licking my lips. <laughs> she has my name tattooed on most intimate part. I show you. Oh, no, no, it's not necessary. It's really not necessary. I have her name tattooed on very long part of my body. I show you. Be cruel to stop him. <laughs> you want to see Tom, by the way? Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, how long is this part of your body? <laughs> you can see it from here? No, get it out. <laughs> Ooh. My chest is long, no? <laughs> <laughs> I must see my name on her pretty Gavina. A what? Her Gavina. Her lovely pretty Gavina. <laughs> what is it? What is it? What is it? <laughs> Did you phone the funeral director? Yes. Not very promising. Got a very stupid answer phone message. Lots of giggling in the background. Someone mm. shouting out his head's on back to front. <laughs> and how's my potential new boyfriend? <laughs> oh, you sad slapper. <laughs> slapper you see, the slapper? thing you have to learn about hot-blooded Europeans, Linda, is that they don't mind a little bit of man-a-man -man contact. <laughs> you wish. Every time he looked at you, his sombrero flopped. <laughs> anyway, I can speak Spanish. Listen to me. Diageme, dondo es medico homosexual? <laughs> what does that mean? Excuse me, where's the nearest gay men's health centre? <laughs> mm. oh. Chico. Chico, mi latino. <laughs> hmm? 
Live in da vida loca, por favor. <laughs> it has gone. What has baby? My name on her intimacy. <laughs> oh. Oh. Diageme. Donde es médico homosexual? <laughs> I know what she has done, Lindy. She has had the laces. She has had the laces. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I rub you, Pedro? Yeah, I'll rub you, shall I? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Listen, Pedro, I'm <clears throat> sorry to bugger you, but I'm sorry to bother you. <laughs> <clears throat> but, um, when did Beryl go to Spain? I'm so lonely. Oh. I'm so tired from my fly. Well, come and lie down next to me. Come to Linda. <laughs> Snuggle your head in my bosom. I'm very maternal. <laughs> Don't by the way, you come on bed too. No, there's not enough room. Yes, there is. <laughs> mm. <laughs> this remind me of when I am little boy. Oh. Little boy blue, come blow my horn. <laughs> <laughs> I sleep in bed with my brothers and sisters. Each night is cold in mountains. We have to do this to keep warm. And then we play rain. Oh. 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 Yes. This reminds me of an exercise we used to do at drama school called We're All in a Tent. So come on, we're all in a tent and it's windy, so blow. <laughs> yes, and there's a goat outside who's escaped from the zoo and he's all licking. Mm. <laughs> no comprendo, no comprendo, I don't understand. We was at the airport only 50 days ago and now she's dead. Stone dead. Oh, no, 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 it's not days, it's minutes. Sorry? 50 minutes ago we was at the airport and now she's dead. I feel her presence near me. Maybe it's her ghost. Yes, her ghost. So there you are! Yeah! <laughs> this is the last time I carry a gun through customs. <laughs> so where have you stuck that bitch twin sister of mine? Okay. Okay. Are they okay. love bites? No, no, bruises. We dropped her earlier. <laughs> oh, Beryl, Beryl. So good to see you again. It's such a relief. Yeah, we thought we were homeless. Yeah, we, we didn't know. We thought she was dead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd died and gone to heaven when I met him. Nice, isn't he? Yeah, he's all right, in a sort of wailing kind of way. <laughs> so where have you been, then? Well, DJ, when I found out what she'd left me in her will, I cashed in a couple of fake gyros and flew to Funicarola, dear. <laughs> I lost him at Heathrow on the way back. So you're a twin. I've got a boa like that, Linda. Have ya? Oh, what a coincidence. <laughs> I've got that jigsaw, too. Oh, that's spooky. Pedro, bedtime. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Go on, leave us, then. We don't mind having a corpse cluttering up our through lounge. <laughs> Oh, it's me. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh. Oh, Jess, look! What? Beryl's come to her own funeral. Oh, oh sweet. <laughs> He couldn't have gone to the service. Quick, let's get out of here. No. He's all tied up on the bed with a mask on. <laughs> Blimey. It's very much in proportion, isn't it? No. <laughs> Look, we should go. Uh, no. I've got to put this back in its rightful place. You go, I'll follow. <laughs> <laughs> Peril, Peril, is that you? Yes, dear, it's me. Who's been a naughty boy then, eh? 
<risa> Madre de Dios. funny okay yeah most definitely that was funny Woo. well <laughs> shenanigans right i pretty much called it on that one damn the stuff they be getting themselves into man cracks me up man just bar nothing man. i'm just telling you Whew. that was a long one but it was a beauty all right y'all that was uh gimme 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 season two episode three stiff well, I found out pretty much early on what Stiff meant in the episode, so, man, I forget. That dude, the funeral director, he looked really familiar. Um, I could have it dead wrong, but he looked like somebody. He kind of looked like um, that one comedian. I forgot what I did. Ah, it'll come to me. But, uh, yeah, whoever that is, please let me know in the comments who that was because he looked really familiar. Um, yeah, I was just sitting there thinking because I didn't see her. I didn't see the landlady in the first two episodes of this season. At least I don't think I did. I don't think she made any appearances. But, uh, yeah, I was like, oh, man, the landlady's gone. But, uh, anyway, yeah, man. Uh, I don't think I could go that long with just having a dead body in a coffin in my living room for that long. That would just probably freak me out. Um, I'm not particularly freaked out by death at all. I mean, I've seen some twisted things in my life, and I'm not, like, so freaked out. But, like, just to have a dead body just chilling in your living room. Uh, I would just kind of feel a little strange unless you're probably, you know, used to working around corpses a lot. But, you know, hey, it is what it is, man. But um, <laughs> the dude, <laughs> at least I feel like Linda probably got a W for the first time in, uh, at the end when she was able to mess with old boy Pedro in the bedroom. But uh, you know what? Um, all the stuff that you could possibly go through that's probably nutty and crazy these two go through it together man and i know i got quite a few episodes left so i know i'll probably go see some more twisted stuff but that one was pretty funny um obviously you guys saw the looks on my faces um when it came to some of the parts i didn't understand please school me on what some of those things meant and uh yeah i'll continue to learn there's some things that i heard repeated in the last one that i kind of got but uh yeah um pissed was one of them pissed and this means drunk right obviously and uh nicked you know um uh something what was it I mean, stolen or in, or in the nick was in like jail or something if i remember that right uh but yeah it's just funny to watch those two go through like their little attitudes when it comes to like they have completely different attitudes but it's always in the same situation that they just make it funny no matter what and um uh, the couple, you know, that live there, man, they're always getting into some goofy stuff. That's so messed up. I was like, his Viagra he went down just thinking about Linda. That's some cold blooded shit, too. <laughs> uh, just when I feel like she can't catch a break at the end, she caught her break. So I like to think that she won on that one. So good for you, Linda. But uh, yeah, man, Tom is a fool, man. Just by him saying, I think about having a panic attack, he just fell to the floor. <laughs> I think we all I think we all know somebody who acts like that, but uh, yeah, man, very funny episode, man, and uh, definitely can't wait to get to the next one right off the bat. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off right there one more time. Uh, gimme, 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 season two, episode three, stiff. And if you like that reaction, please hit the like button for me one more time. Subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, as always, leave a nice comment for your boy. Constructive critiques, leave a nice suggestion or request, and I throw a couple jabs, jokes, and zingers at me. Friendly dialogue, no drama here, all right? Please and thank you for always remembering. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be Eddie B TV wrapping this one up. Uh, I'm glad to get to another episode. I know that we got at least... Uh, uh three i think there's seven in this season i'm not sure i might have to go back and look at that but uh yeah we got quite a few episodes to go someone please let me know still if there's um the rest of season three because i looked at uh the list of episodes and it was missing a couple so if there's any way i could find those somebody let me know uh but if not then i guess we'll just have to make with what we have or i'll try to find a way to get them somehow but it does yeah, I definitely got to see how this one continues on. So, uh, yeah, man, uh, thank you all for tuning in one more time. Definitely can't wait to get to the next one. And uh, until next reaction, love and appreciate y'all.
Peace.